you heard as well, I think, was Corn Knight chamming on a sausage roll. What were you eating? Um, actually, it's leftover Chinese food. From leftover Chinese food from probably last week. But, you know, we don't judge here. Uh, it's fine. But uh, hello and welcome to the two Match Day ago, 8 two. OCC 3C recap. I'm joined by, um, yet to be in the champs, Dreamland. Say hello, Dreamland. Hello. Um, <laughs> seventh, seventh place championship uh, coach, me, Ethel. And current last place, and likely to remain so, Core Knight. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> your favourite thing. Of, of, it is my favourite thing. And do, you know, do you know how much mileage I'm going to get out of this as well? Well, so you're going to get approximately two seasons before I go back up there. <laughs> okay, that's probably. <laughs> <laughs> and did I don't Dreamland? I don't know if you've seen it, but I I did um, some analysis of the uh, champs on the OCC website, and I think I've got it all right. And it's quite complicated because loads of people are on um, eleven points essentially, and it yeah. just makes the qualifiers and especially the last space really weird. But the best thing is that unless Core Knight wins six nil. And um, ninth place loses. He's uh, he's tenth place guaranteed. So I'm I'm 100 percent going to go for that six 0 win. By the way, oh know. yeah, well you got to, haven't you? Really? <laughs> yeah, there we go. I mean, the other person who's got great odds is Lasker. He needs to win four nil and everyone else basically to lose, um, and he can, he can stay up as well. But uh... so so did you actually do this? Did you work this out for your own division? Or is it only the champs that get this? I've only done the champs so far. I think my division's a bit clearer um, on who can, who well, can uh, win and so on. Um, no, it's... Well, we can see where we get into it, but there's still four people that can win. Yeah, it's uh, it's wide open because of a result this week. Um, so, without any further ado, I guess we might as well have a look at that, hadn't we? Look at the results this week. Um, what wait, a segue. What a, that's a great segue. Thank you for the, for the lining up. Professional streaming. Professional streaming, uh, 101. Um, yeah, I'd had the division up, of course, uh, if I did were a professional. But anyway... Talking <laughs> 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 <Talk to professional. laughs> professional. Let's look at the first game then. So I, I haven't got any spike or anything like that. Up because, because I spent so long doing the... Um, looking out who could finish where in the champ stream, I haven't looked at um, spike at all for any of these games. So I don't really know what happened. But... Um, the Chorfs beat the Orcs 1-0. And sadly, I've got to report as well that um, Bambalacha Cha 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 um, has quit, the, not quit the league early, but has quit playing. Hello, Tom, um, by the way, as well, in chat there. Um, according to the OCC um, sign-up or the extent, you know, the, the carry-on page, word I can't find at the moment, um, yeah, he, he says he's had enough. So he's going to leave, which is sad. Yeah. It's quite a big chunk of the division, actually. Yeah, quite I think exactly. most people have um, signed up, haven't they? But there's a couple. Well, no, I think, it, I think it's. Yeah, I think it's three that have um, said they're not carrying on next season. I, unsurprisingly, it's not. It's a certain end of the table that's seen more of it, but um, yeah, it's sort of quite sad in a way. I think. Yeah, I, I mean that, that that tends to be the case anyway, right? You, you tend to get a couple of people who are about to be relegated or three. You know, leaving, and it's and also you know the whole oh BB three is around the corner. Yeah, it's not. Apparently, so apparently well. there's going to be another another announcement soon. Yeah, it went soon. soon. Soon TM. Soon TM. The only announcement I've seen recently is that some of the Gobbo star players are back. Um, but that's all mm. I've seen for BB twenty twenty. Well, that well that but that's tabletop, right? So yeah. Yeah, that's tabletop. So. It, but but kind of you know it's, it's nice in the in the direction of getting some more star players again. You know. Yeah, that's good. Um, anyway, back at the game. Um, so the Chorves beat Orcs 1-0. I mean, again, I think I've not looked at the game, but looking at the amount of blocks that the uh, Chor the Orcs were giving away, 72 versus 47. I don't think they've got uh, uh, any friends. 72 is a lot. Yeah, that's 72 is a lot of blocks, isn't it? That's a lot of base contact. But with, with your Orcs, you can't. We, we can dodge away, but you, you can only dodge away maybe two or three a turn, can't you, really? You haven't really got the flexibility to do that consistently. I mean, also, so the Orcs also lost one of them. Most... He's a big player. Um, oh, was it a big yeah, one? Lost... Is it a big one who died? Yeah, uh, Morgob, the fifty-nine SPP Blitzer who had mighty blow, tackle, guard, stand firm, and death. Ah, was, yeah, yeah, that's sad. Um, Which I would normally be sad about a bash team in the division getting hurt, but 
I know we'll get into it, but his last game is Gimlick, so I really didn't want this uh, to be the week that the Orcs took a load of damage. And when you said that Baron and Tarshan's not carrying on as well, it's like, oh, well, so absolutely nothing to play for with a team that's beaten up. That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just what you needed at the end there. But more importantly than any of that is, of course, the betting. So. How are we doing on that core night or Dreamer, okay. can you check that what? for me? Okay, yeah. Well, you didn't get a point at least, but, but Danton and Dreamland did. Oh no. Danton's gonna pit me here. Okay, let's put you on twenty, Dreamland. Well done. Yeah, I'm wishing I did champs as well now, I'll be right up yeah, there. You, yeah, you paid attention. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, like sorry, yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah, if you'd, if you'd have joined in all the all the weeks, is what I meant. You know, and it, and yeah. Weeks, yeah. Okay, and next it's the one. same with Dan. Oh. It's the same with Dan. Whenever we get you know new new people on, they're always much better at it than us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the next game is um, Undead versus the the Stand in High Elves, um, and again Galentio. I mean, he's he's recently just joined Pony Core Knight and the RPS League. Mm, yeah, I saw. Uh, but he's only been playing. Um, a couple of weeks, a uh, month, sorry. And he, I think he's quite good, isn't he? Look, 3 0 against the undead. He, he can still win the division. And he said he started, like, when I played him, he was like, Yeah, I've never played High Elves really before. I thought it'd be, I've mostly played Bash, playing a bit of CCL. I've never really played Elves. So I thought if I was doing the standing team, I might as well try and learn a bit of Elves. And he can literally still win the division in week nine. Yeah. So <laughs> it took me about two years of playing to get to the point that he seems to have managed in about a month and a half. So. <laughs> well, uh, how long have I been playing Elves? Like ages, and I'm, I'm shit. So, you know, it's definitely. Um... Yeah, that is definitely one to watch. If we if we were organised enough to do awards for each division, then yeah, he'd be the one to watch award, wouldn't he? I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a shame that this isn't his proper team. Like you could win the division, but then go back to playing. What, I think he's got a team in tier five. Yeah, I think like it's tier five. I can't, I can't remember what team it is now, though. Do you do you know? It's, sorry, Dreamland. I think I interrupted you there. Do you know what it? No, what I think it it's is? I think it's a traditional bash though, because he when I played him, we had a chat about it because. Um, he, we, he was talking about me playing Nurgle and he said he was more used to playing as Bash. So I think his main team is... Uh, I don't know if it is Orcs, but I seem to have Orcs in my head for some reason, mostly because it's the most common yeah. Bash team to play. Um, but yeah, he said he's barely ever played Elves before outside of a couple of games. And oh, maybe they saw them. You, you couldn't tell by the results. No, absolutely way. not. Um, absolutely not at all. I mean, that's a great resort against uh, Undead. That, I mean, that's a steal there, isn't it? Um, I think uh, block wise about the same arguably you could say the undead didn't do enough damage 5 you say chaos, that, 3 injuries 1 blocks. kill of yeah, 36, 36 blocks that's quite a lot of that yeah quite a lot of injuries though isn't it off 36 blocks I guess yeah I'd say like that makes it even more impressive I think because that's a lot of damage to have taken obviously you don't know the context and you might have just had two horrible turns once the game's already put to bed and lost a load of players there. Yeah. But just looking at the numbers with no context, you go, I don't think he's had a lot of help there either. It's not like he it's one KO off all those blocks and No, it looks uh, like you've got, um... you've got eleven in the second half and you can just run rings around undead with the ball. But this this just in from the from the tier five sidelines, uh, he's playing humans in, in oh. tier five. Oh humans. There we go. Um yeah. So a zombie died for the um, undead, so that's not too bad. But it was the the blackle one, which is quite, yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? Um, a zombie to get uh, uh, two skills and then and then die. And for the for the high elves, even though they're um, they're quitting at the end of the season because there was a filler team, they uh, just lost alignment, so it wasn't anything too bad. Uh, yeah, I mean, so uh, carrying on the high the human high elves are quite similar teams. In, like oh, yeah. generally, in terms of what they can take and what they can't, except obviously elves having AG four is a quite big advantage. So I wouldn't be surprised if if learning to play with humans gives you, yeah, better you know, the right experience. skills to play high elves. If that makes sense. I guess it's a lot of same like Lyman six, Blitz is seven, catches eight. Mm -hmm. Like in terms of the pitch positioning and stuff like that. Obviously, it's just probably harder with humans. If anything, it's probably good training to. Have a load of strength busted elves as your main team, and then go and play higher. Yeah, elves. absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, two two touchdowns on his catcher, so um, I think he's using them quite a f uh, two passes as well. Yeah, so he's, he's certainly he certainly gets elves, doesn't he? 
It's a great result. Great result. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm glad that Black Hole um, Skeleton's gone as well for for, for this week because I'm playing um, Sea Pervert this week. But yeah, three nil. Um, and the scoreline there could potentially be relevant as well. Like, it's not just three is good for the SPP. Obviously, it's a temporary team, blah blah blah. But just in terms of table positioning and Absolutely. touchdown differential and all of that stuff that three is actually yeah i've been, I've been looking at tie breaks this morning quite a lot and the the occ first obviously it's wins draws, uh, draws and losses first then it's touchdown differential then it's touchdown scored is the next one after them after that so yeah so i didn't realize it was that actually so that changes things quite yeah a bit having for me. three uh, well winning three nil is great but also scoring three is, is also great um for both of those uh to be honest yeah um, okay, Corny, do you have the points? Sadly, you, Danton, and Dreamland all bet on Galentio. Man, you're having a nightmare. Yeah. I think I, I think I picked the draw just to be different, but, you know. Sometimes when you gamble, you lose. That's true. Well, you're beating Wolfbark anyway. <laughs> who took part in one week and one division Pardon yeah. me. but you know that's, that's you know it's a aim thing okay now I think we took, said this was the game of the week last week um, and it's the Gassy Gang versus the Silver Lords of Altmer who are I believe 1 and 2 when they played and Dreamland you won 2-1 two, one. well done do you want to talk us yeah. through it uh, yeah sort of brief version he had uh, Wizard and Moranian as the Ooh. inducements. Oh, Moranian, Moranian's the vampire for uh, strength for. Yeah, yeah one of the, I mean, uh, the only. <coughs> Sorry, go on then. You, you say it, Ethelred. Go on, you do it. You like okay, it. Is the, he's, he's the only non dwarf star player with tackle and yes. also wrestle block. Yeah. So he took that, which made a lot of sense because of Super Rotter. So it was purely sort of a counter to Super Rotter. Um, and obviously. Having a bit of strength for helps deal with the out strength by the Nurgle. Um, I think I was quite happy with how it went in the first half. I didn't get a lot of damage in, but managed to uh, get wizarded and still score on turn eight. That's good. Um, so just overall, I got a bit, a little bit lucky at certain points in that half, but just to be able to score and have the wizard used. So the first half went very well from my point of view. Uh, he then one turned and scored on turn his turn eight. So yeah. I thought this. I could see as soon as he one turned, I thought this is how this is going to go. Lose two one, um, oh. and then I killed the entire team in the second half. Yeah, so, I mean, I just, I've got the. Um, I've so got, you can see the stats. I've got spike up got, now. Yeah, absolutely, and we can see. I got, I got one KO in the first half. So everything else in the damage thing was all turned sort of nine to eleven. Right. Um, so I think it's a cup. Uh, I think I killed one, and then he dodged one into death, and then two cas, one of which was a, per like a, a niggle or a perm. Um, yeah, Kevin. And poor, then there was a, poor Kevin's got a he, niggle. Uh, a rookie lineman died, and but most importantly, his um, guard blodge, guard dodge. Sorry, lineman also died as well, and that's a bit of a blow. Yeah. So um, and that, all of that happened in the first few turns of his offense and it just left him unable to protect the ball and just turned over and scored i think on 16 or at least i think it was 16 because i didn't want to take any chances of getting one turned again um but yeah it was i think i played really well the first half and then did the classic claw mighty strategy just kill all mans in the second half and it wasn't really there's <laughs> nothing works. gimlick really could have done about that i think in another game where he didn't get Punch to death, I think he probably wins that 2-1 after the one turn. So, lucky at the right times is sometimes what you've got to get in these sort of games. And Absolutely. I think that's what... I think I played quite well to stay in it and then got yeah. very lucky to win it sort of thing. Well, no, it's, it's a great result. You levelled a, uh, a warrior as well and the other, and a pest, uh, which I'm sure you're very happy about. And Super Rotter didn't... Did they touch the ball at all this time? Touch the ball for two games because I've had w wizards against me and he will just die if he gets bolted. So he's there just now as like backup wizard bait or recovery after a wizard sort of thing. But no, it was really good. I got touchdown and MVP on the dodge Pestigore because I wanted to add more project players to this team. So I took <laughs> dodge. Um, and then got a touchdown on another uh, one level Pestigore to level him up. So And then got lucky on the 
Nurgle Warriors as well. So it was actually what should have been the hardest game against the guy that hadn't lost all season and is a known very good coach. Yeah, ended up being uh, loads of SBP on the project player, two level ups and a win. It couldn't have gone much better for me, I think. Yeah, that's really good. Um, did we, we talked about dodge, didn't we, on the pest? Did, didn't we? Yeah, it was going to be block or, yeah, it was block or dodge. And I, it was the week that you did it really late at night. And yeah, that's I was it. Just, Dozing talking in bed, and chat you? about it that's in it. bed yeah um and i decided that i like the rot is gonna die and it's just sort of planning ahead of i've got four pestigors what i've got a saka i've got the claw mighty that's gonna die i've started developing another killer for when that dies and then i thought well, i should use the fourth to replace the rot not replace the rot is going to stay as long as it lives but to be to be uh, 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 stand, standing in the wings for, for the Yes. An uh, understudy, that's the word. We're understudy. It, the understudy, yeah. Especially when you rolled the double. and It's fun just having, like, especially in an Eternal League, it's fun doing stuff that you wouldn't necessarily do in CCL, yeah. where I spend a lot of time. Where it's just yeah, you're trying to build max for... there, aren't you? And just exactly. make them really efficient. Whereas in this, it was like, oh, it's fun to put, like, so I also, on the Nurgle Warrior, I leveled up, I rolled double, so I put, block, put dodge on that as well. It's just sort of stuff that I wouldn't necessarily do if I was just trying to, like, if I was building a ladder team, all of these would have been claw mighty blow and I would have just punched everything and <laughs> probably done quite well without having to think about it. But it's fun having something a bit different. Absolutely. But there, there is also that thing of when you go claw mighty blow and, and you know, the, the cows don't come in and you've basically just got a ton of bloat skills that aren't doing anything, you know, when you just fail to roll above seven. Or yeah. Oh, yeah. And I quite like the <clears> idea <throat> of building, like, so now I've got two dodge warriors and the beast and it's sort of building up this really control-heavy sort of... Yeah. And with a bit of hitting power. Team. I don't yeah, know, just not just, no, but not even just moving them around. It's just having, like... Because I'll put Stand Firm on both the Blodge Warriors, and it's just then, right, try and create a gap almost. It's just putting a load of Stand yeah. Firm Blodge in them. It's like a, the Necro strategy with Golems. Yeah, or, or, even, or, or even basically Amazons. But just yeah, Stand Firm right? Blodge, horrible to face, isn't it? Yeah, it does. I'm already pretty much 2100 now, and I still haven't put any skills on them, so it's going to end up <laughs> bloating out of all control unless stuff starts dying, which, if I end up getting promoted, is more and more likely. But it's fun, at least. I'm having fun, that's and that's what matters. Thing. Absolutely. Okay, well, let's see who had fun in the betting this week. Um... <laughs> <laughs> on fire today. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> segways. <laughs> Um, oh, it's the pair of you both get a point. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. That one I had to bet on myself because the division was like, if Gimlet won, he won the division. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, despite beating him, I guess now is a good time to say you, you're still second to him by one point. So, Gimlet's still favourite. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We'll, we'll have a look at the table in a minute. And we'll, you... Despite your TV being almost twice his <laughs> now. Yeah. Yeah. He's now, he's now under 1300 after all the damage. It's a. <laughs> horrible sort of I, like, I, I think I even opened the game with I hope it's all badly hurts for you and that was sort of almost guaranteeing that it wasn't going to be I think <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah need to uh, <laughs> need to make a note of that that phrase to say not no longer I'm going to wish them have fun and good luck just I, I hope it's just badly hurts and then yeah I, I, I wished all badly I, I wish you all badly hurts was how I opened it up and then I think I uh, removed someone turn one and felt <laughs> instantly bad about that but <laughs> okay yeah. Uh, uh, Franco likes your your uh, your segue as well. I know it's it's the mark of uh, quality. I think you're moving up the list, Dreamland, from contributor to co-host. I think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, finger, fingers, uh, crossed, I'm fingers in the same crossed. division as Core Knight next year, so then you can sort of transition in that way. Yeah, that'd be mm. good. Um, okay, ne the next is Elf Off, um, which was Broccoli versus uh, I think it's Rusey, isn't it? Who has the pale yes, penguins? Is. Um, so that was a 2-1 win to the Dark Elves. Um, again, just looking at the blocks here, 30 versus 52. And yeah, okay, I appreciate that the Dark Elves are frenzy, but again, that's quite a few more, isn't it? Um, three KOs, three injuries uh, inflicted as well. So um, again, it looks like certainly the High Elves just got people removed and probably couldn't um, counter enough. I, I mean, again, 2-1 suggests a 2-1 grind. I've not looked at the game, so there could have been some shenanigans in there as well. But uh, that seems a fairly clear one, clear cut one to me. Yeah, I think he probably outblocked him in general as well. As at least in my experience playing Rusey, he was quite cautious with uh, one of the witches is armor six, unless it's yeah. 
died and I didn't notice. So he's quite core. Cool. It's not like liberal use of frenzy across the board type thing. It's very much targeted. So I would say he probably got ahead. Like looking at the numbers, he probably got ahead in the numbers and sort of pushed his um, advantage with the blocks. Yeah, I mean. What's what's nice for Broccoli is that they still managed to get loads of SPP because they were again doing a lot of passing uh, and catching and so on. So it's not, you know, it's not like you you lose two one and only get, um, you know, eight SPP. He's got quite a few uh, more on top of that as well. So that's pretty good. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, um, which is you know a good haul really. Um, obviously the Power Penguins got quite a few more, but uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, okay, uh, betting wise, what do we say for that one? <clears throat> well, this this game actually happened before the last oh, show. Was it? Okay. Um, so, but between like, I'm not sure. This is this is this might have to go to review. But Danton did bet on Ruzi. I'm not sure when he did. Whether it was actually before the game or not, because we I ran the bot in the morning or something or the day yeah, before. Yeah, and they played they played before the show, <clears throat> even, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, they did. So I think Danton should get a point, but no one else has bet. Okay, well, let's review that at the end of the season and see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> see I think you should give him the point. I, I think I, I'm pretty sure he had that bet in before the game was played, but I'm not 100 percent certain. Okay, well, in the interest, give, give, give him the point. Okay. Yeah, give him the point, and then if you lose by one, yeah, you I can, can go on about use it, that as excuse. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty well. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All right, great. Uh, and then the final game this week was my game against Ali, um, and it was a draw. And from what I can remember about this was I um what happened? I think I think he scored at the very end of the first half. Um I scored fairly quickly at the start of the second half, um and then I couldn't steal the ball, but I c he couldn't score either. So yeah, it was kind of um we cancelled each other out. And I'm pretty sure in the second half, he, he's caused three KOs and an injury on me. And I'm pretty sure that happened in the second half. So I was running out of players as well towards the end. So that's what that's what happened, really. Again, block-wise, I mean, I, I block more than him, which is um, probably rare, 36-32, although I've got obviously got a frenzy uh, as well. Um, yeah. So not much, oh, I mean, not much to say. We're looking no, for, wasn't it? Pardon so just the result both of you were looking for. Well, it? not really. I mean, I could have done with the a win. Ball, limited SPP. But yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> I mean, we both got quite a few SPP out of it, so it's not, it's not, wasn't a complete right. I mean, SPP. I don't, don't think Ali's caring about SPP. He's, he's a three as well, isn't he? He's, he's a three. Uh, yeah. Sitting out for a season, I think was his description. But I mean, I leveled my witch elf, and she got a movement up, which I, uh, which I took. So I was quite happy about that, really. I mean, again, I'm playing a long game. Uh, can I stay that still uh, after, you know, nearly, a really long nearly game. 60 games with this team? Uh, but yeah, yeah. you're wait. Yeah, you're going to be. There is no retirement in OCC, is there? So no, the there's not. So I can carry on forever, really. Well, until they all die next again, uh, which is fine. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, it was okay. I think I, I should have. Did you just say 60 games? Because you, you don't know how many games you played, do you? I think I played more than 60. It's more, more like you're coming getting... to 200. You're getting into more than double. You're getting to double that. Oh. Anyway, moving on. Um, betting then for this one, I'm pretty sure I no one bet on a draw. Uh, that would involve me still being in the right. I, so I'm sure you said something about this. You said more about this game somewhere, but I can't find where you said it. So you know, fine. Um, and in terms of predictions, oh, I, someone I, did bet on a draw. Just one person, oh. but he's, he's so far behind. It probably doesn't make much difference. But Is yes, rough? give me give me that point. Okay. Equalising Dreamland, who has only bet on half the competitions. Yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> All right, now it's moment of truth because we're going to look at the table. So yeah, so you, so you, you, you did all this analysis of champs and how badly I'm doing. Is it? Is it worse to be relegated, double relegated from champs, or relegated from division three? Well, I don't that's think I'll be. I don't think I will be relegated. That's the thing. No. I'm eight. Oh, I'm eighth. Because of my great record of getting draws, so it's isn't isn't bottom three relegated relegation. 
Yeah, but one more win and I'm I'm practically fifth. <laughs> <laughs> Assuming no one else wins. Assuming no one else but, yeah. wins. And I've got um I've got uh um C Burbert this week. So yeah, so Bambalap. Oh Bambalap, no, it's it's, it's, it's bottom it's, it's bottom four that get relegated, by the way. Oh is it? No, it's not. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, shit. I need to well I need to win my ne- next game. I'm playing C Pervert, so that's good. Bambalat Cha 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 is playing Gimlik Dreamland, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so he's going to lose. Um, so, I, yeah, I was looking pretty good, <clears throat> I think. Assuming you win against C Pervert. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I th- it's more importantly at the top because we've got Dreamland in. So, um, Gimlik's on 6 1 1 now, Dreamland's on 6 0 2. So, you are just um, two points behind. Um, Dreamland, one point, one point, one point, one point, point. Sorry, behind. Who have you got, Dreamland, in your last game? Broccoli. Ah, okay. I'll so you're both having influence on the, or you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. So. I know Dreamland would do the right thing and, and thrash Broccoli, so that's fine. Um, but well, I, has got I need to potentially th- thrash as well. Like a draw doesn't do it for me. Like Gimlick is much better in every category, unless head to head is the first one. I don't think. Yeah. I don't think it is. Um, yeah, unless Hester heads the first tiebreaker, yeah. I think Gimlick's got more touchdowns, better differential, all of that sort of stuff. I, I think it's that. after uh, touch, uh, t- touchdown differential and then head to head and then touchdown scored. Yeah, if I remember rightly. Um, I mean, he's got a, a plus two touchdown differential at the moment, um, and he scored fifteen versus your eleven. Um, saying here, so yeah. <laughs> So yeah, you need yeah, to so win. You need well, basically, you need to win. Basically, you just need to win and hope yeah. he doesn't. Essentially, hope he doesn't. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. it, it could be due a dicing. I mean, he's won six, drawn one, lost one. So, yeah, I mean, he just know, he just had that. <laughs> he just had his dicing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, but gambler's fallacy. That doesn't mean he's not going to get another dicing straight after. You know, that has true. his previous dicing has no effect on whether his next game will also be a dicing. Oh, 100%. But then you could also argue as well that Broccoli's 206 and is definitely due some sort of upturn in the <laughs> as well. So. Don't say that. Um, yeah. Well, I think you've got a good chance. I mean, the the others in contention, obviously, are Ruzi. So Ruzi needs to beat Galentio. And um, you need to you need to draw and Gimlet needs to lose uh, for that to happen, I think. Um, I mean, there's all, it's also worth mentioning, you know, Promotion is is an important part of, of yeah. a, of a tier, the... tier three life cycle, right? So, um, <laughs> you know, it's the, it's the top four who get promoted. Top four, so. thank you. I was about to ask who's the top four. So, I mean, that's the, that's the most important thing, isn't it? Really. So, yeah. Um, I mean, the top four can all win the champ, win it. Although, Galentio winning is a bit more unlikely. But if he Galentio wins, Galentio winning is as likely as uh, Rusi winning. Weirdly. Yeah, if yeah. he wins, if it, the if, same, he needs the same other outcomes. Yeah. Yeah. If he if he wins, um, yeah. Gimlet Actually, no, that's not true. Uh, okay. No, because if so, I draw, he'll beat me on touchdown stuff anyway. So yeah, yeah, but to, of... to but to overtake Gimlick, uh, Galentio needs Gimlick to actually lose, not just draw. Whereas Rusi can overtake okay, yeah. Gimlick with a draw. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because Rusi's got a better touchdown differential, as we can see. So Rusi needs a Gimlik to draw or, or lose, and Galentio needs him to lose and for him to win, and for you to lose Dreamland and for Rusi to lose. So, yeah, but it's, that's not bad for a standing coach who's only been playing two, three months. Well, it's just it's not bad as well for a division as well. It's quite, I think, yeah, it's quite it's, fun that fourth can still win the lot, especially I, when you I watched your champs recap yesterday, and it's just like, oh yeah, he's already won. And yeah. It is a shame because it's yeah it's 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 set isn't it? It's always exciting to take it down to the last uh, game of the season. But uh... I mean, like weirdly in champs, it was like the top and the bottom are, are quite set, but the the stuff in the middle is really close. So you know the the you know no one can win it, but but for, for a, lot, still get a lot of, yeah a lot of people, the difference between staying from relegation is massive, right? So um, yeah, and I think that ma- I think that also matters <laughs> more in champs in terms of. You can only win the OCC by being in champ, sort of thing. Whereas yeah. here, like I'm already promoted. Ultimately, it's just I like winning. It's more fun to win. So yeah. then, that's sort of the incentive. Ultimately, if you could trade three players dying for winning, you probably would in champs, and you wouldn't in. Yeah, I mean, three. yeah. So, well, no. For, I mean, for me, like winning tier three or getting promoted, I think promotion is more important. You and Gimlet yeah. being locked into promotion is. 
is you know a successful season as far as I'm concerned in tier three. Absolutely, um, I don't. I don't think Dreamland or Gimlet can not be promoted. I mean, I think yeah. you'll be promoted anyway, even if you you finish fifth. Like I think. Well, one of Rusi and Galentio has to drop points, or both. Yeah. So even if it was three going up, one of them has to drop points. Yeah. yeah. So um, um, I mean, the, I guess the pressure, such as it is, is on Crow Dog, who's in fifth place, because none of us, none of us past fifth can catch the the automatic relic, uh, automatic promotion places. So really, it's between Crow Dog, Galentio, and Rusi to make sure that they get the the first automatic place. I mean, again, it's not quite that simple because Galentio is dropping out anyway. So you, arguably, Crow Dog is going to finish in fourth position no matter what. Um, but you know, it's it's nice to finish fourth on merit, isn't it, or higher, rather than be uh, what's your favourite phrase, Cornet? Like sucked up. Um, yeah. <laughs> into the into the higher division. So so yeah. So Crow Dog's playing Ali. So again, you'd ex- kind of expect him to win that one, perhaps. Um, so yeah. So yeah. So, so a... in, in fact, Rusi and Valentia, are, are, it's more it's kind of more likely that one of them isn't, you know, a proper promotion. Um, as such, and also if Galentio gets a promotion spot, I don't think the way that they pass on the the extra slots is, you know, is in the same division. It just goes, you know, yeah, it goes into uh, the goes into the pool, doesn't it? I think, for yeah, the whole tier to be um, sucked up, as it were. Yeah, so it would the... be the next best in tier three rather than necessarily the next best yeah. in this division. So well, if you get up to six, Ethel, you well, never know. Yeah, well, I think well, there's so many. Um, I mean, the other thing I didn't do when I did my analysis of the champs is is work out who's staying and who's going. But I'm pretty sure the current top four, maybe down to six, are staying. So I don't think there's anyone dropping out right at the top. But again, um, the dropouts above this tier, tier tier four, even though it's division three, um, because obviously there's champs tier as well. Um, there's so many that it's, in all likelihood, if I do win my final game, I will go up to tier three which is division i mean i mean broadly two, speaking as long think? as you as long as you don't get a relegation place yeah. you'll probably get sucked up yeah. at least one division whereas the people who actually get proper promotions might go up two divisions right yeah although i have okay. i'm pretty sure i've been relegated for my division and also got sucked up uh, i think not in tier four in tier five that that's that happens um but like i think in 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 the t- in tier three, I mean, sorry, yeah, I, don't think, it, I don't think it would happen in tier three because, um, yeah, unless everyone quit, uh, which is unlikely. Mm. So yeah, so I don't know, Dreamland, how are you how are you feeling about it? I mean, you, you, in a way, it's in your own hands because you've got to win, but Gimli well, also might win, so that kind of isn't in your own hands as well. I have a little bit that of a weird no incentive sense. about this: is that I've only started playing OC, so I sort of. When I first came to Blood Bowl in 2015, I signed up, but it was like three weeks into a season, and then by the time it came to it, I'd stopped playing Blood Bowl and wasn't that interested. So I'd never played in OCC. So I know a lot of people that have played 20-odd seasons and have all the trophies at the bottom of their forum, forum profiles. I'm exactly the same. I, but for me, one of the, the early driving forces was seeing people's signatures with all the little trophies yeah. and stuff. It's yeah, and with, like, it's such a weird incentive because ultimately, like... Who cares? I guess, but I care a little bit, and it. But like, yeah. I was quite happy when I won tier five that I finally had something in that that footer section of my thing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm still in a selfish way. Would like to come at least second to keep adding to that. Yeah, but, absolutely. Yeah. I'm still bitter that the, my BB one achievements aren't in my signature still. Living in it, living in the past. Even season two. <laughs> even though this is season 23, 20, 23 of uh, Blood Bowl two, so. You know, you can. That's about four years, five years worth of leagues. I think I can't. I, you know, there's someone can do the maths um, independently. But yeah, in terms of actually, like, I'd like to win, and if Gimlet dropped points and I got to win the division, then that's great. I'm, I've had no major damage on the team all season, apart from the yeah, the, the, the m- must be a bit yeah. painful. Uh, by, by, by the way, we missed a comment from Franco, which was uh, that he hopes you get relegated to Red so that you're in the same division as him again. <laughs> well, we'll probably be in the same <laughs> division anyway, because he'll probably get promoted. But yeah, but yeah, it's sort of in that sense, it'd be nice to win. But um, yeah, it's just yeah, nothing died, get promoted, season achieved, sort of thing. 
Yeah, I imagine seeing. I imagine broccoli's. Um, you know, the bottom of his post is is full of loads of stuff, right? Yeah, and yet he still tried to schedule our game in the predictions thread, so he still hasn't worked out the forum. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a, he's a green suit as well, isn't he? He's an admin. So. Yeah. Well, anyway, he got very excited about scheduling the games and putting it in predictions instead. So <laughs> he's got all the signatures, but still messes that up. So that was a little bit of solace, I guess. But, <laughs> yeah, it's my, that's sort of my main incentive for the game: is winning would be nice, winning the title would be nice, but I want a trophy in the the foot of the forum profile. Okay. Yeah, so... I, 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 one of my proudest achievements is getting um, most cans in one of, in the in the league, or no, second most cans in the league, uh, one season, which I think you know that's that's a great achievement. What receiving? For receiving or no, uh, in the same season, I did get um, receiving the most cans in the division, but I got the most cans in the league for that season as well. See, I sort of marked that out in my head this season of like, right, I'm playing in a division full of elves. I've got the only like claw team, forgetting about the chores at that point. And I was like, this has got to be the seat. Like, I've got to get at least the most cat. I think I'm like seventh or something like that. I think I've got like a really low number considering what I'm playing. And that was sort of what I am out. It was like, even if the season goes terribly, at least I might kill some things, get a trophy that way. Yeah, I'm just checking my profile now. The only one I've got is um, most casualties suffered in season 16, tier two. Sad. Oh, I don't. Yeah, no. Sorry, I, mi- I misread mine. No, I've got I've got the the second most casualties in the entire league during season 10, um, and that was in tier five. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just like a sort of. I guess you make your own mini goals, don't you? In these sort of yeah. things, you make like your own micro. And mine was just like, I like having those things there. It makes you feel like a veteran in a sense that you've done a lot of time. So, yeah. All right. Anyway, should we get on to predicting yeah. the last week? Yeah, last week. Okay, so game one is. Um, I think you've, I've got it up. Let me just double check. I've got my one. So there. Yes. Okay. So the first one is uh, Silver Lords of Altma versus Goth Gouges. Now. Um, Dreamland, you obviously want the golf gougers to win this one. Yeah, so I'm, but I'm just doing my predictions now. But um, his team I, uh, is pretty battered. Um, I mean, unlike you, and perhaps unlike me, he has taken the hits this season. And he has seven players left. I checked after the game because I did yeah. feel quite. I shouldn't feel bad because it's ultimately I picked to play Nurgle. This was sort of the point, um, but. The fact that it's so little of a team. I mean, he's still got all the good... I only killed one good player. It was mostly just linemen and stuff like that. Yeah. But when you look at it and you sort of see 12, 30, and I mean, seven he's, players, it's a bit sad. He's really 14, 10. And, you know, Elves with a Wizard can, yeah, can, uh, bad, can still be pretty good. And, he, you know, he's still got a, a movement nine catcher, even though the other one's out. So, yeah. you know... He's, he's still got some weapons, you know, and a frenzy and the mighty blow. Although, you know, Mike Bow's not going to do very much against orcs, is it? No. And 400 TV of inducements. Which mm. I imagine he'll go for some wizard star combination, like he went for. Yeah, like, I think. Try, basically, try for the turnover score. Score early, his half hide win 2 1 would be. More, I guess he's more likely to go for. Um, wait, wait. No, high, high elves. What, what are the, the, the options for high elves? They don't get. Um, so they get uh, Moranian, Moranian, they d- get d- uh, Dolphar, uh, Sorin, Dolphar Sorin, Sorin Hightower, Morg, Eldril, Eldril, oh Eldril, I mean, yeah, Wizard Eldril, Wizard Eldril or a Wizard Moranian, isn't it, I think, but that's what he took I mean, against me, yeah, but like Moranian, like the, the whole tackle thing's big, right, but against Orcs, there's no dodge at all on this team, I was going to say, does he have a Blodge ball carrier. No, 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 he doesn't. So then it's uh, pro- I would say probably Eldrew. Eldrew, yeah, maybe, so. maybe yeah. Babes or something like that to try and keep as many players on the pitch with spare money or Apo if there's an extra Apo if there's money. So like Wizard Eldrew plus change. Yeah. Plus um, I mean, it, this, I think, I know I haven't seen the Orc team for a little while, but this was the team that when I played in was just 
mighty blow and yeah, I mean, it's still hit things. It's still pretty much like that, to be honest. Streamlands. I mean, I've and all the strength, all there. the strength. Uh, that's what I remember about this team is it's like three or four strength, yeah. everything strength four. It's like a lizard team. Yeah, they've, well, so one of the Blackhawks got armor bust last game, so he's out anyway, and one of the Blitzers got killed, so and he's already been replaced. So there are, but there are still two strength up Blitzers and a strength up lineman. Yeah. So we're still talking about. Six strength four pieces and a troll. With the block. troll has rolled block. Yeah. But no so, and even even losing the tackle, he's I've just seen it on the stream now, he's got three yeah. tackle. Yeah. Like that's two more than I had to deal with it and I managed to kill a lot of the elf team. Um so But there's also, you know, you know, is it is there also quality of coach in there as well? Like Gimmick, oh, 100%. You know, yeah. Gimmick's pretty scary with an elf team. Yeah, he is. Like, I had to work so hard on the his defense, my offense against the wizard. It was such hard work to get up the pit. Like even when I was standing, I had three players standing the turn. I'm still struggling to create room because if you haven't got the resources to deal with elves, it can become yeah. quite difficult. So, um, wizard Eldrill obviously just gives you a chance of just going and getting the ball whenever you want as well. So you've got to be double screened all the time and stuff like that and I I think yeah. Gimlick will put a lot of pressure like obviously there's always the chance of just punching your way through but I think Gimlick will put a lot of pressure on and it will just come down to if if he's playing against 11 elves I think Gimlick will win but if he's playing against 6 elves I think Bambler Charchar wins or I think it will come down a lot to that but I'm going Bambler Charchar because I have to I need that, that, I'm betting for what I need not what I think is necessarily yeah. going to happen <laughs> Uh, obviously, I've gone for Gimlick. I think Gimlick with a wizard is a scary thing. And also, the sound of the meeting call made me afraid that I was missing a call myself. No, it's, it's me. It's my yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I realised. <laughs> oh, is that you? I thought it was me as well, briefly, but it's not, so that's fine. <laughs> um, oh, what a tough choice. Because um, I'm going to vote for Bambalatacha uh, because it was my fault that I didn't beat Gimlick. So, for that reason, I'm going to bet against him in this final round. Um, so doesn't have to make sense does it um no. okay okay so this is the actually the toughest game of the yeah, week temporary decide, I think. pale penguins yeah um, another another elf off um third against fourth yeah he's got a level first so let's have a quick look what he should pick and it's on his kicker so it, again fairly easy uh i would say um but yeah what do you get a lineman with kick block dodge dodge one of those two, yeah, isn't it? Unless it's a double, in which case you get them. Guard. There's not much choice there, isn't he? He's still only got eleven players, yeah. hundred and thirty K in the bank. So he could he could splurge a bit um for the props to go for that, that division win. Um obviously wait, waiting on other results, but you might as well, I mean if you're giving the team up, you might as well splurge the hundred and thirty, hadn't you? Really? I mean like um Rusi's the higher T V team, so he can I, I I'd be buying a player just because you you know it's better to it's better to have extra players than to be you know getting yeah. more inducements. You know, seventeen uh, inducements is not as good as an extra player. Oh, we well, could get some dirty player liners, couldn't you? If you want to. I mean, but they're so much more expensive. I'd, I'd still rather have a, a non loaner player given given the option, and he has the option. Well, a dirty player lino what would, would cost a hundred and sixty? Hundred and fifty, yeah. Hundred fifty, yeah. I think. I'd much rather have two linemen than even if you wanted to use it for fouling, to foul less effectively. Yeah, without DP. No, without fair, it. fair enough. Yeah. Uh, um, I mean, Rusey yeah, has got... Add the player. Rusey's going to be 1840, presuming he doesn't... Presuming he gets rid of his bank and doesn't buy any more players, which he... Again, if I was Rusey, I would, I would buy another Yeah, player. I think I'd buy a couple of linemen. Um Because I mean, at this point, or unless he's going to actually splurge his money on a wizard, because it is this is like crunch time, mm. big big game, important. Scumming yeah, I mean, if you want to do wizard as the high CD team. Yeah, yeah. I guess if you want to win, then you go on a wizard. But if you're looking at next season, you you buy the players now, don't you, to give them a game to get some. I mean, SPG. yeah. Like the reality is, he's he's almost certainly going to get promoted, even yeah. if he loses. So I yeah I think I think the right choice is by by another player maybe even two players yeah I think I'll probably you... get two just for this last game just then to you can protect stuff yeah protect stuff and 
I mean, you got one lineman who's uh, one SPP away. See, I, I mean, again, if it was me, it's never going to be me in this position, I don't think. But if it was me, I'd just be trying to look to level as many players as possible with passes. I wouldn't even worry about winning or losing, to be honest. Uh, but, you know, winning usually gets you more SPP as well. Yeah, I suppose it's three. Touchdowns, yes, get three. Th touchdowns are three passes. Three, aren't they? Yeah. I'd be more inclined to just not stall if that was... Rather than pass it round, I would just try and... Yeah, just try Especially and if you're playing elves, just try and informally agree without saying it. Let's, let's play oh, out can, a 5-5. I don't think there's anything... I don't think there's anything strictly in the rules for against collusion. So you could technically, I guess, say... Let's just I, 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 I think there is something in the rules against collusion. Is but uh, Yeah, I, I, think, I think if you if you actively agreed about it, then then I'm not sure. I do think... Oh, maybe not. I don't know. But quite a lot of leagues do have rules against it. But it, you don't need to have active collusion. You just have one. You just score early as one of the elves and go, yeah. oh, well, you've got the ball now. One, do you, maybe we'll, do you maybe score... Maybe we'll do you a high-scoring game. Wink, do you, wink. Do you score early and then put all your players on one side of the pitch and go, hey, yeah. look what look at this interesting defence set I've done. <laughs> I, I would not do that because of the time that someone did that to me and I repeatedly scored again against them and turned them over without doing the same to them. <laughs> 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 which which they which they remember uh, it's someone to in this day. Neighbor's chat it's someone on table uh, top um who, who, it's one of the two voice it's not Hellboy it's the other one who, who helps uh, De Andy Davo with um, Zunk uh, way to protect the identity there that was definitely no one's going to see through that I mean no uh, no no it's not, it's, I I'm not trying to hide it I just can't remember his name what's his name oh El Dude, El, D El Dudorino yeah so you know I've, I've annoyed someone who's six foot four and huge <laughs> well, and he's, he, he comments about it on, on, on Andy's stream as well so he's not hiding it but yeah <laughs> black, a black mark against your name, Cool Knight. <laughs> I, well, I didn't agree to it. He said, hey, we should make this a, a high-scoring game. I went, that would be interesting, or something non-committal. Non non, uh, non <laughs> and then he scored fast, and then I scored fast, and then I turned it back. <laughs> <laughs> what an arsehole. Um, okay, so, bearing in mind the strategies that we've got here, I think Ruzi... Oh, I mean, Ruzi Kalentu, that's quite a good matchup because they're both really good elf coaches. Um, but I'm going to go, again, show solidarity with my dark elf brother, so I'm going to go for Ruzi for this last game, I think. But I think he should definitely um, buy some more players before the game starts. What do you guys think? This is a really tough one. I, I'm, I, you know, I'm but finding it really hard to pick. Slightly favours Ruzi as well, I've got to say. But I think I'm going to be, like... The, uh, a wimp and choose a draw. Aha! No, no offence, Dreamland. Because <laughs> that leads into what I've already put down, which is, but mine's a completely different reason. It's bet on, again, following what I said about Gimblick, bet on the result you want, not the result you think's actually going to happen. Uh, okay, yeah. A draw pretty much it reduces the pressure on me to win to get the trophy on my profile. So them drawing would do me a favour in terms of at least coming second. Hmm. It's, but it's, it's a close one. It could go either way, really, couldn't it? Like, yeah, so much. This it, it definitely an exciting might should be an exciting game to watch as well. Yeah, it should be a good game. Um, I would have said. Okay. Even if there's even if there's collusion, they both try and score on each other as much as possible. Yeah, I, think I mean, I mean, immensely talk, amusing. We talk about collusion, <laughs> but I guess the only way you could actually prove collusion was would be if one of them streamed it, um, and we saw it in the chat. But that's the only way. Even even if I streamed that game, we we don't you never see the chat to you of another team. So, it would, no one could yeah. ever know if that makes sense. That makes sense. It makes sense. Um, yeah, and I mean, if it could just be that it's not collusion, you just yeah, just score, both just think, oh, score. I'm just building on my team for next year. We both and protecting my team on defense by hiding them in the corner. <laughs> like it's competitive advantage. It's not collusion. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I I I, I should state for the record, I've got no problem with collusion in any games because. That's sort of to me. It's peak fluff blood bowl. Is exactly what the game is: is collusion and bribery and shenanigans. So, I never have any issues with collusion because I think that's exactly what. If blood bowl was ever real, which obviously it's never going to be, but if it was, then that's exactly what they'd be doing like all the time. So I've got no, I've got no problem with collusion, whatsoever. Um, 
Okay, right. moving on to... I've got, I've got to shoot off. I've got a hard car. Uh, no got... worries, man. Good to see you. Um, don't forget your betting. Um, but yeah, yeah. I've put it all in yep. the, the Discord already, and I think you can work out what... I mean, it's only two games to go. I bet on myself. But... <laughs> right. So, all right, cheers, Dreamland. Take it easy. You. See you next cheers. week. Cheers. See you later. Cheers, bye. 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 Um, yeah, so... Um, collusion... What's your feelings on collusion? All right, sorry. Uh, my feelings are that I'm currently reading the rules of OCC. Ah, right. Not for the first time, just to double check. <laughs> um, because I, I have, you know, obviously I'm in a, I have been in a few leagues. So, you know, picking out, um, uh, you know, exactly uh, which rules I'm, I'm remembering from which season, which leagues is, is complicated sometimes. Absolutely, because they're all slightly oh. different. Um, okay, yeah. well, while you're looking at that, I'll just talk through this... Um, uh, Chorf team, um, Crow Dogs team. He's, if you remember, in fifth at the moment. So he, he's uh, probably looking to get to finish as high as possible. I mean, again, his team looks, you know, fairly tidy. Uh, there's one blocker who's got an AG bust, but apart from that, um, it looks pretty strong. It's quite hideous, really. I mean, you've got a strength five ball centaur in there as well, who's now got break tackle, which is horrible. Um, and he's got one claw pommer, uh, which is kind of horrible as well. Uh, good hobgoblin ball carrier and one fowler so it's pretty much complete really I mean what's disgusting most disgusting is that if he gets rid of his bank he'll be at just just 17-10 and that's a really strong side for 17-10 uh, in my opinion um, he's facing Ali so I think yeah he's facing Ali who I think I left more or less intact from last game although he's missing a um, wrestle lino uh, again, on paper, it's it's a fairly good team. Um, AG4 Blitzer there, strength up thrower, which, again, was really hard for me to um, combat. Um, wait, 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 can oh. we go back a second? Yeah. You you, you said um, Steve Pervert's on 17-10. No, Crow Dog will be... Crow Dog. He's got 18, 180 in the bank. Oh, sorry, sorry. So, yeah, yeah, so it will no, take away 30. Be... So, yeah, it's uh, 1,700, actually, so I had to get it wrong. But yeah, yeah cool. on no, no, I, I was looking at entirely the wrong team. That was the problem. Okay. All right, fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I, I mean, I do remember this from our game. So um, B. A. Felton, this strength four thrower, was holding the ball. So even with good leaps, <laughs> even even with good leaps, I'm just laughing at Galentio's comment. Um, I couldn't, I could never get two dice on the ball. Um, or even one dice on the ball because he's strength four, and that was really hard to, to combat. So that's another reason why I, I couldn't really steal the ball off uh, Ali in our game. Um, but yeah. Chorf's not, Chorf's not going to be trying to do that, are they? No, no absolutely not. They're, Chorf's are going to go root, absolutely root one and just smash the, the humans out of the way. And and also, they do have some strength four of their own in the balls, ball centaurs, who both have great tackle. Yeah. So, you know. And uh, uh, Galento, you missed us talking a little bit about your tier five team and we didn't realize you were humans that's a uh, like although it's a good early learning team i think they're pretty tough to do well with yeah danton so, aside perhaps i uh, will you know no it's a sign of danton's you know quality as a coach that he's doing well with humans not not that's yeah no, no that's absolutely opposite, yeah, that's, yeah. How, that's how i meant it um yeah um so i think it's pretty clear cut that uh as much as I like ali as a person i don't think he's going to win this one uh, I think Crow Dog's going to win this one, and I think the the Chorfs are probably going to take apart the humans uh, as well. Yeah, I've I've clicked agree? on Crow Dog as well. Yeah, and the bot believes it as well. And you know, it would be great if Ali did get a win out of this, but uh, Oops. it's a t it's a tough one to, to manage. It is. He's really has to believe in himself, which I don't think he does. <laughs> you know, or believe in the team, which I don't think he does. Let's say rather than himself. Yeah, Glencio says humans are awesome. Wait until I get flings to throw in BB3. To <laughs> the doubters. Yeah. Okay, well, good, good. I'm not saying I don't think that's true, but good luck with that. That's what I'm going to say. Um, yeah, it'd be good if Zonk had throw teammate. That would be good. Yeah. Anyway, um, you know, Ogre's not good at not as good at throwing as trees are. No, trees are the best throwers, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Uh, next game is my game. Um, so it's easy for me to bet on this one, but hit me, baby, one more time versus, um, of course, the boys south of S and M. So he's again, disgustingly, he's going to get some inducements for this. A um, lot of inducements. Yeah. So he's on two ten uh, at the moment. So he's got uh, a sixty to get rid of. So that puts him at fifteen twenty, which is 
horrible. Hey, Ali. Um, how are you? We just unfortunately bet against you to beat this um, horrible Chorf team. Um, so, whereas we do wish you well, it's a big ask, I think. But, you know, do your best. Um, is, is the best, uh, I guess, we can say. But, yeah, let's have a look at this uh, undead team that I'm facing. So, again, Rookie Mummy, which is nice. Uh, one with, with Guard and Stand Firm, which I'm not too worried about because um, it's only really going to be line hits. I, I sh it should only be line hits. Can we some of those things on our oh. Go Live tracker so we can track Sorry. the types of things that we're... There we go. It's calling cool <clears> on <throat> meeting. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, no, I've got to go for meeting now. Sorry, I was, I was hoping I could, like, manage... Between Both. the two of them, but I don't think I can. Yeah. All right. I've already bet on Dreamland as well for the last game. Fine. So I'll talk through the rest of these and then. Um, all right. Yeah, it's all and right. obviously, I bet against you. So obviously. obviously. Lol. <laughs> See right. ya. Bye. Take care, man. Bye. So, yeah. So, what am I worried about this undead team? Well, the mummies, as I say, I'm not too. Uh, uh, too worried about them. Um, that white is is quite horrible. So he's um, obviously tackle mighty blow piling on. It's on a guard as well, so that's that's good in a way if he's going to be on the floor. Um, the ghouls are fairly standard, so they're not nothing too bad. That's obviously um, a ball hawk there being uh, wrestle and tackle. That's a ball carrier, and then that's a nice stripper. Uh, but my AG5 uh, has got short hands, so that's not too bad. And then there's the one fouling skeleton, which is fine. One with dodge. Uh, sorry, another ghoul there. Just didn't notice. And a zombie. So only 12 players. Uh, so that's not too bad. But uh, as we spoke about before, he's going to get so many inducements against me. I'm definitely going to be facing wizard. Um, my team is pretty healthy. Uh, we're missing one blodge um, lino. I don't think that's a niggle. Oh, it is a niggle. Yeah, so I might get rid of them. Uh, uh, depending on what happens in the next game. But yeah, I mean, we've got, we got a Blitzer who's at armor seven, one who's strength bust but guards. That's one keeping him. Obviously the star of the show. Um, Witch Elf now moving eight, which is pretty good. So yeah, if if the undead don't kill me, um, I think I've got a good chance. I mean, the, the, the ones I've got to watch out for is this white, but hopefully reduce that to just one a turn. Um, there's no other mighty blow. As I say, the mummies I'm not too worried about because they haven't got block, um, and I should only be giving away line hits on them. So, so yeah, I fancy my chances against this undead team, and I think I'm going to vote for myself, obviously, for that one. Okay, and the final game um, of the season uh, for this round is the Gassy Gang versus Goblin. So, uh, as again, we were talking to Dreamland earlier. He comes in at 2070, so it's quite a high uh, TV Nogal team, although he has got 30 in the bank there as well. Um, presumably he's going to get rid of that because he's got 15 players uh, already. So he'll be down to 20, uh, 2040, uh, which is a bit lower, but obviously uh, not too bad. Uh, strong. Um, there's only one, well, what, what, there's not only one Mighty Blow. There's Mighty Blow on the Beast, and then we've got a couple on the uh, Killer Pestigors here as well. Uh, so that's quite strong and he's facing broccoli's high elf team um, so they're going to get um, about 100 in inducements so it's not loads um, he can't he can't scum a wizard either because he's only got 20k in the bank there so i imagine that'll either be two babes or it will be um, uh, maybe an apo for this one but what he does have is these ag5 thrower and catch combination now that's a bit more tricky in this next game because obviously Nogal are much more control. So they've got the, the stink, which makes it everything minus one, but it's still AG5, so it's not too still not too bad to, to throw, as long as it's only one uh, and not two. Still the two plus catch and a two plus throw. Um even with the minus one from disturbing presence. But um two or more, then obviously that starts to make a difference. But free rerolls with the passer and free reroll with the catcher means it's still quite likely now is there enough there is there enough agility to to overcome the nurgle i don't know it's a big question coach wise about probably about the same i'd say maybe dreaming slightly edges it so it's a tough one but again i think um for solidarity for my fellow streamer i'm just going to go for dreamland for that one as well so apologies broccoli i think you've got a good chance there but i'm going to bet on dreamland for that one so that brings uh, everything to an end for this week. Um, 
good luck in your games. Uh, I've got no other host, so I'm just going to go um, straight away. Good luck this week. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, as I say, good luck in your games. And I'll see you for the final show for the season next week. So take care and uh, good luck with your dice.